picture on my face. He's a kitty on my face. I mean, of all the death by animal scenarios, I think being stung by murder hornets is at the top. And they do kill about 50 people a year in Japan on average. The kissing bugs carry a parasite which can cause Chagas disease. It can be deadly and show up as heart failure years after the infection. Today we're ranking some of the world's deadliest insects. Each insect will fall into one of the following categories. Creepy crawler pain, small but aggressive, venomous killers, and silent death dealers. And I'll tell you right now, you may be surprised to learn that a certain medieval disease is making a comeback thanks to fleas. Which insect is invading Australia? Why did indigenous tribes use ants for surgery? And of all the diseases mosquitoes spread, which one is deadliest? I just started to feel very, very weak. One day you wake up and you're just, you're so weak that you can't hardly get out of bed. I just got weaker and weaker and weaker until I was so weak I couldn't stand on my own. Found in Africa, the tsetse fly isn't much larger than the average housefly. Their color varies from yellow brownish to dark brown, but one thing is for certain, these guys can carry a deadly parasite that could lead to your last sleep. The parasite, Trypanosoma brucei, can cause sleeping sickness, a deadly disease, if left untreated. All it takes is one little bite from the tsetse fly to infect you, putting them in the silent death dealers category. Initial symptoms are often similar to those of the common flu, including fever, weakness, aches, and headache. As the disease progresses, it affects the brain and nervous system, leading to confusion, convulsions, and if left untreated, death. Although there is no vaccine, treatment usually requires hospitalization and can be administered via pill or IV. As a safety measure, patients are also monitored for two years. Avoiding sleeping sickness is the best way to survive it. Wearing long sleeves, pants, and bug spray can help, but it doesn't guarantee anything. In 2023, fewer than 600 cases were reported, a significant improvement from the 38,000 cases confirmed in 1998. Moving on, our next insect has a bite that burns like hell. I thought I, I, thought I sealed this bunker. Ants are on my face! Ants are getting on my face! Photos show the extent of the painful bites. Fire ants can be found across the southern United States from California to Virginia and have also invaded Caribbean islands, New Zealand, Taiwan, Canada, China, and Australia. Although small, often four to five millimeters, their bites can be incredibly painful. If you happen to step on one of their nests, prepare for a world of fiery pain. After biting you, their venomous stings lead to an intense burning sensation, hence the name. Symptoms also include itching, swelling, and blistering. Great, all my favorite things in one experience. But to make matters even worse, some people are allergic to the ant's venom, which can lead to trouble breathing, swelling of the throat, vomiting, and in severe cases, death. That places these little demons in the small but aggressive category. The ant's location can affect your ability to avoid them. Sometimes they nest under rocks or logs, but in some cases, like in Queensland, Australia, they're taking over everywhere. Fire ants could creep all the way to far north Queensland by 2035, potentially stinging more than one and a half million people, causing almost 31,000 of those to have an anaphylactic reaction. Up next, anything with assassin in their name is sure to be deadly, but where it lands on this list may surprise you. Commonly found in South America, specifically Brazil, the assassin caterpillar is only two inches long, but don't let its size fool you. These things are deadly. Caterpillar? These masters of camouflage can blend in easily with their woodland habitats. And you'll never see me coming. And with venom that interferes with blood clotting, we're placing them in the creepy crawler pain category. Their bodies are covered with bristles that can puncture our skin and release venom. However, it usually takes 20 to 100 stings to have significant effects on humans. If you happen to touch one accidentally, or on purpose, you'll know pretty quickly. First, you might start to feel itchy. Then come the swollen, painful welts that spread around the area. And if you're particularly unlucky, you can expect headaches, fevers, and vomiting. After 24 hours, things can quickly take a turn for the worse. Internal bleeding, kidney failure, and brain damage are all common. Without medical intervention, death is imminent. Okay, wow, look, 
Don't touch, words to live by. Without antivenom, those who are dealing with severe symptoms will need to be admitted to the hospital ASAP. Time is of the essence. The sooner you're treated, the less severe your symptoms will be. Since 1989, Brazilian health officials have documented more than 600 cases of assassin caterpillars injecting their venom into people, including 12 deaths. At least you don't have to worry about being swarmed by these things. The same can't be said about our next insect. My symptoms came quickly. My throat tightened up and I couldn't speak. The Asian giant hornet, nicknamed the murder hornet, is as terrifying as it sounds. Good enough to land them in the venomous killer category. Native to Asia, specifically China, Korea, Japan, and Northern India, they're not hard to spot, being one and a half inches long. The murder hornet injects venom with every sting, but unlike, say, some of your typical bees, these things will attack you over and over again. If that happens, you can expect swelling and intense pain that can last for days. In most cases, one sting won't kill you, unless of course you're allergic, which can cause anaphylaxis, so you choke to death in horrible agony. But even if you're not allergic, multiple stings from dozens of angry murder hornets will inject enough venom to kill anyone. Staying away from their nests is the best way to avoid being attacked. If you are stung by one, apply ice and take an antihistamine to reduce swelling. You can also take aspirin for the pain. Believe it or not, despite their human kill count, around 50 annually, they get their murderous name by the absolutely nature is metal way they kill honeybees. They chew off their heads, abdomen, and legs and bring what's left back to their nest. Yeah, it's brutal. Moving on, we have an insect that survives by feeding on your blood. We do know that Taylor Gaze died from um, plague. Katie O'Donnell is with Larimer County Health and Environment. Investigators believe Taylor contracted the plague by being bitten by fleas near his home. With more than 2,500 species of fleas worldwide, there are only a few you really need to worry about. And that's because they can carry deadly diseases, like the literal plague. Um, I thought that was ancient history. Great. Commonly associated with house pets such as cats and dogs, fleas can also be found in tall grass and bushes. They survive by sucking on human or animal blood and reproduce quickly. These little leapers are being placed in the silent death dealers category. If you see a small red circle on your body and it's itchy, you might have a flea bite. Some of the diseases they carry won't show any symptoms immediately and these can often be mistaken for more common viruses. Aside from the plague, fleas can also carry cat scratch fever, marine typhus, and parasites such as tapeworms. Thankfully, antibiotics are available and often clear up any issues related to the after effects of a flea bite. Even those of you without pets should be aware of the dangers of fleas. And for any avid gardeners out there, you'll want to pay close attention to our next insect. If they feel threatened, they have the ability to like open the joints of their legs pretty much and like excrete blood, which then comes into contact with the skin and causes us the blister. Blister beetles are found worldwide and like fleas, there are over 2,500 different species. They all produce a chemical that can cause blisters on your skin and even inside your body. Jeez, painful, of course. Gross, you bet. Deadly? Sometimes, but only in severe cases. We'll be placing them in the creepy crawler pain category. They're quite small, growing up to an inch, and come in various colors. Some are bright, while others are black, gray, or brown. The beetle's blood contains cantharidin, which causes the blistering. The good news is that a thorough wash with soap and water is all you need if you notice them in time. But if you get some of their blood on your hands, then rub your eyes or put your hands in your mouth, things can escalate quickly. We're talking permanent damage to your eyes, severe kidney damage, and in extreme cases, death. So wear gloves when gardening and you'll most likely be okay. Look at the result of a single sting on one seriously, of our crew. Seriously, what am I gonna do? Take more antihistamines, good. Because I have taken two, really and truly I have. When? And it hasn't made any difference. Honeybees are great for the environment, specifically pollinating more than 130 types of fruits, vegetables, and nuts. You like jazz? For many ecosystems, they're important, but for some people, they can be deadly. Whether or not you're allergic, if enough bees sting you, the outcome can be fatal. This puts them in the venomous killer category. If you've never been stung by a bee before, well, let me tell you from personal experience, it hurts like a You can expect painful swelling and 
Possibly an embarrassing selfie. Poor guy. But if you're allergic, I hope you brought your EpiPen because you'll be in for a whirlwind of nausea, anaphylactic shock, and death if you're not treated in time. According to the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, hornet, wasp, and bee stings kill an average of 72 people per year. And that includes a 62-year-old Texan who was swarmed by 40,000 bees when he accidentally knocked down a hive while mowing his neighbor's lawn. Man, poor guy, he was just trying to be a good neighbor. Your best way to survive a bee attack is to keep your distance from their hive, respect their space, and avoid disrupting them. When they sting, you feel pain, they die. It's a lose-lose scenario. But a bee sting is nothing compared to what some would call the kiss of death. Assassin bugs cover more than 7,000 different species of insects found all over the world. Although not all of them are deadly to humans, most of them have an incredibly painful bite and some spread a terrible disease that will haunt you for life. For this reason, they'll be going squarely into the silent death dealers category. They range in size from half an inch to an inch and a half and can be gray, black, or brown. Other species are orange, red, or yellow, but the ones you really need to worry about are kissing bugs. They're often found in Central and South America, but have also popped up in the US, Canada, and Mexico. They prefer warm, moist climates and are known to bite people around their mouths. But it gets worse. Kissing bugs poop while biting, and their feces can carry a parasite called Trypanosoma cruzi. If that enters your body, you may get infected with Chagas disease. Some show no symptoms at all, while others tend to have mild flu-like symptoms. If left untreated, the parasite can stay in your system, and according to the CDC, 20 to 30% of people later develop serious complications like an enlarged heart, an irregular heartbeat, or even a heart failure. Sadly, there is no cure for Chagas disease once it reaches the chronic phase. If diagnosed early enough, you'll be prescribed an antiparasitic medication and it should clear up quickly. To stay safe, avoid areas known for infestations and use bug spray. A bite from one bug while you sleep is bad enough, but imagine being bitten by hundreds of thousands. The jaws may slice through human flesh like butter, but it's simply a warning. Across Africa, driver ants can be found in grasslands, rainforests, and scrubland. Also known as safari ants, these little guys can be found in armies of up to 50 million. That's a lot. They're just over half an inch, but their strength in numbers earned them a spot in the small but aggressive category. Unlike other ant colonies, which usually stay put, driver ants change locations frequently. They eat anything and any one in their path. Now the good news is that even though they move about 65 feet per hour, you should be okay as long as you watch where you walk. If you're taking a nap or have a few too many drinks, well, that's a different story. Hundreds could swarm you and you'll be rudely awakened by a flurry of painful bites. We're talking puncture wound level bites and in severe cases, skin lesions. Ugh, gross. And it's not as simple as just pulling the ants off of you. Oftentimes they clamp down so hard that attempting to remove an ant leads to its decapitation. Ironically, in the past, their jaws were used by indigenous tribes as natural sutures, helping to stitch wounds. Surviving a colony of driver ants in your home is simple. You just need to call an exterminator. If they're outside, leave them be. They kill other bugs, keep the ecosystem in check, and don't stay in one place for long. And finally, our last and deadliest insect on our list. Triple E or Eastern Equine Encephalitis can cause severe neurological issues and has residents so concerned that officials in one town are recommending a 6 p.m. to sunrise curfew. Mosquitoes are the most dangerous animals in the world, responsible for an estimated 1 million deaths annually. More than half of those deaths, approximately 600,000, are caused by malaria. Other diseases, including dengue, West Nile, Zika, Triple E, and yellow fever are responsible for the rest. And most of these diseases show the same symptoms, vomiting, headache, fever, and joint pain, with an unfortunate end result being death. It's no surprise that they belong in the silent death dealers category. You can take comfort in knowing there are vaccines and antibiotics to handle these diseases. Sometimes our immune systems are naturally strong enough to do the work. 
But in some poorer communities with less medical aid available, outbreaks can kill thousands. Prevention is the best way to survive mosquitoes. Vaccines, bug spray, and awareness of any confirmed cases in your area can also go a long way. It's also ideal to reduce your time outside after sunset when mosquitoes are more frequent and wear clothes that cover as much of your body as possible. And if you're fine with looking a little silly, you can always wear one of those mosquito netting suits. It's no Met Gala showpiece, but hey, it's functional fashion. All in all, even if these insects are small, they're certainly deadly. Being aware of any insects testing positive for parasites or diseases where you live is a great way to keep yourself safe. A general rule of thumb for survival is respecting mother nature. Otherwise, you may find yourself in a rough situation. I mean, bears, lions, tigers, snakes. Do you know which snakes are deadliest? Not to worry, I do, and we've got you covered. We did a tier list ranking the worst of the worst, so be sure to check that out. We'll see you next time on How to Survive.